you know, right now we, we go by that spot and it's just a piece of land. But someday it's going to be a great performance space that our students and our faculty and our audiences can together have an experience that changes people's lives for the better. When you look at the outside of this building, you're going to think, wow, that is stunning. And you're going to want to get inside. The Humanities Building has a strong history, but it has thousands of students that go in and out of it every day of the week, including Saturday and Sunday. It's probably one of the most utilized buildings on campus. And to have that new building coming in has generated energy and enthusiasm. And this is going to give them a setting that's a professional setting. It's like a chemistry lab having all of the resources that a serious chemistry student needs. The arts and humanities help us to understand why we do what we do and who we are as people. And I think if we have a building that can communicate that to the public, that here is a place where you can come and let your troubles go, and I think that will be in a very exciting time. That certainly enhances their experience here on campus, you know. Going to Camp Randall and seeing a football game, going to the Union on a Friday night and hearing live music, and then going into a world-class concert hall and hearing all types of incredible music. And we're very excited about the new building. We think that's going to be a huge game changer for us. It's going to be very exciting, very welcoming. I think the issue we'll have is kicking students out from practicing because they'll love being there. Two, three, four. It's not just music students who use our building, it's also for the university at large. And not just as audience members, but as actual partakers of the artistic experience that a building can help to provide.